Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a vocabulary lesson and it is about expressions about sleep. So expression one, sleep like a log. And this expression means to sleep very well without waking up during the night. So that is the meaning of the expression. But what is a log? What is the literal meaning of a log? Well, here is a photograph of several logs. So you can see they are lengths of wood taken from a tree. So you can imagine the expression. Example, Jane is sleeping like a log. So Jane is sleeping very well. And the next morning, Jane could say, Last night I slept like a log. I slept like a log. Notice that this is the past simple tense. And sleep is therefore an irregular verb. The past simple form is slept, S-L-E-P-T. And the past participle is also slept. Expression two. Fast asleep. This is an adjective. So the expression is to be fast asleep. And this means to be sleeping very well. She is fast asleep. She is fast asleep. So it simply means she is sleeping very well. Be careful, we are not talking about speed and we are not talking about time. We are not talking about the time it takes to start sleeping. No, fast asleep simply means to be sleeping very well. Expression three, to not sleep a wink. And this means to not sleep at all. So you're trying to sleep and you can't sleep. You are awake. Example. So this is Jane and she can't sleep. She's trying to sleep. So the next day, the next morning, Jane says, Last night, I didn't sleep a wink. I didn't sleep a wink. So this means last night, I didn't sleep at all. Expression four. To hit the sack. To hit the sack. And this means to go to bed, to sleep. So we use this expression often when we are tired and we decide, okay, now it is time to go to bed. And the literal meaning um, of the word sack, a sack is um, a type of bag usually used for storing products or food. So example, these are sacks of coffee. Example, Jane says, I'm tired. I'm going to hit the sack. Good night. So Jane is saying that she is tired and she's going to bed. Okay. Expression five to drop off to sleep. And this describes the moment that you start to sleep. So it is just the moment between being awake and starting to sleep. Mark dropped off to sleep after lunch. So Mark dropped off to sleep after lunch. Expression six, to fall asleep. 
This is very similar to drop off to sleep. So it means to start to sleep. Sarah is falling asleep at her desk. Sarah is falling asleep at a desk. So we use this when someone is becoming more and more tired, their eyes are starting to close, they are falling asleep. So Sarah, um, she has a very boring telephone call here and she is falling asleep at her desk. Expression seven, lie in. This is a noun. The expression is to have a lie in. And it means to sleep until a later time than usual. And this is usually by choice. So we are choosing to sleep for a longer time than usual. Lie in is a British English word. I don't think they use this much in American English. Example. So here is Jane and it is 11 o'clock in the morning and look, she is still sleeping. She's continuing to sleep. So we can say it's Saturday. Jane is having a lie-in. Jane is having a lie-in. So she is choosing to sleep later than usual because it is the weekend. Expression eight, to oversleep. This is a verb, to oversleep. And this means also to sleep until a later time than usual but this time this is not by choice or usually it is not by choice so notice it is simply the word sleep with a prefix and the prefix is over so it means to sleep too much or to sleep too for too long example Mark overslept. He is late for work. And when Mark arrives at work, he says to his boss, Sorry I'm late. I overslept. So this is a very common, <laughs> a very common excuse when people arrive late for school, for classes, or for work in the morning, if you arrive late in the morning, people say, I'm sorry, I overslept. So it means I slept later than usual and it, it, was, it wasn't by choice, okay? So there we are, that is the end of the lesson. Um, would you like an online English lesson Perhaps you would like to practice your speaking or maybe you are preparing for an English exam. If so, then you can click here on the screen for prices and more information.